ECE402, Electrical Engineering Senior Design, Purdue University, Team Electro Voice. The goal of this project is to design and implement a scale model of an automated railway locomotive. Some of the technologies utilized are wireless data transmission, analog video signal processing, feedback control algorithms, and DC to DC power boost converters. The design consists of four major subsystems, cruise control, station hall control, train brain, and train power. The cruise control subsystems allows the user to input the desired speed of the train. The user interface is located in the laptop. The system is also capable of receiving the actual speed of the train and computes the necessary calculations to maintain the set speed by the user. The communication between the cruise control and the train is possible through infrared and radio frequency wireless links. The user is able to see a real-time graph of the actual speed versus the set speed in the GUI. Both train brain and power are located on the wagons behind the train. Train brain connects wirelessly through an infrared link to cruise control to receive the coded desired speed. Then the coded speed is decoded and sent to train power. It is also able to detect the track ties with an optical sensor and send it to cruise control over a radio frequency signal. The train brain features an emergency stop when either the IR or RF links is lost. One of the train power tasks is to obtain 12 volts from 5.2 volts supplied by the tracks in order to move the train. Also, it is required for the train power to regulate the 5.2 volts to 5 volts for the train brain. Last but not least, the station hall control subsystem will bring the train to a precise stop at the station by utilizing an analog NTSC video signal. This is the final demo for ECE402 Senior Design at Purdue University. Team Electro Boys. First, the user will input maximum speed of 22 centimeters per second. Now, reduce the speed to 11 centimeters per second. As we can see in the user interface, the actual speed of the train is being received and compared to the desired speed by the cruise control subsystem. The train outputs an audible feedback for changing direction. Set the train to full reverse speed. The train also displays the input speed on a LED array. Set the train to full forward direction. If the infrared communication link is lost longer than two seconds, the train will gradually stop and the emergency buzzer will turn on. The actual speed is being transmitted using amplitude modulation. Disconnect the audio output jack. Now you will be able to hear the tracks. Activate the automated halt subsystem. Now the train will stop at a precise location in the station.
deactivate the hull control. We can show that the train will stop at the same location independent of its current speed. Set the speed to 11 centimeters per second and activate the automated hull control. This concludes our final demo.